Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 15th episode of Uchu Kyodai, or Space Brothers. So, last episode, we focused on Fukuda and his family situation and his, you know, dreams and all that. And how, he, basically, his struggles, his personal struggles, is kind of what we got a, a focus on. Also, we had some uh, Furuya and his glasses breaking shenanigans, which obviously tied to Furuya, F Fukuda as well. So that was a big thing, and kind of highlighting some of the differences between some of the groups and the differences of the struggles that they have. Like, you know, Kenji's group, all the intellectual people, all that, all that pride, you know, butting heads. But uh, yeah, different problems for different groups. So let's see how things go with this episode. Three, two, one, play. Uh, no, not again. Yeah, he definitely felt bad for that after a while. I wonder if we will get a new pair of glasses. Since he did have Furu Furuya trying to make that happen. And our new opening that we had last episode. So I guess it's not new anymore, you know. Our, our second opening. You know, he hasn't had much screen time lately. That doggy. Very upsetting. Yes. I love the panda masks. And that giant hairy eclipse. <laughs> Muta's head, and then the dancing. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> uh, uh, watching the mom dance gets me every time. <laughs> it's just really funny. <laughs> Don't need that, it's not a chew toy. It's the moon, it's important. Now we get to see the response. Yes, he's a little bit soon today. It's a good question. Cool. Okay. I guess he's getting his new glasses. Oh, he should also respect Fukuda, you know, being able to have glasses. But the end result's the same, so. Which group? Coming clean. They know. Very perceptive. Good question. <laughs> He's so full of it. That's what mattered. He was able to convince them. And he got the answer right, so... Yeah. Lying is the right thing to do. Remember that, kids.
the green ones. What do you mean? Uh, so we do have a phone to talk to people. Cool. Or it's just a doctor thing. I guess we don't get to talk to family. What what a privilege. <laughs> okay. Looks like the kind of doctor from a mecha anime. Like a mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, making lots of bubbles. Uh, can we get a scene like that for Sarika? Good to hear. Quite a larger webcam. Yes, it's your glasses! You better be full of appreciation. <gasps> glasses! I can finally see again! A whole new world will open up to me. I'll go give him a big hug. <laughs> He's finally complete. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't know about that. You are a liar. Well, okay, if you want to be technical about it, you still did something. B B B B B B B B B B B B. Somebody answer that, or turn it off, or something. What even was that? It's cool how they get to have lines, a little bit of privacy. What is important, I mean, they have guys and girls staying in the same room. Well, these are A's. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah, whose alarm is that? It could just be, you know, Jaxa messing with you to try to build up tension. I mean, like, you're not allowed to bring phones or anything in there, right? Yeah, how dare he try to help? Yes. How are you going to figure that out? And so they became a murder mystery without the murder. I mean, there may be a murder, depending on how things go. I mean, do you want to do it? I mean, I don't see how that would change anything. <laughs> because you're an arrogant idiot. Maybe you should stop playing these mind games with yourself. Because it's only hurting you, not him, I guarantee you. Uh, 
it wasn't really a mistake, it just gonna have its pros and cons like any other system. What? <laughs> What's missing? What is so important? It's better be good if you're waking us up for this. Okay. Oh, Serica. Why would somebody take a clock? For what purpose? Does somebody want to be the only guy that knows what time it is? They'll just tell you to solve the internal problem amongst yourselves. I mean, it's not like it matters that much. It's like you have an appointment to meet or something. Who would put it in a toilet? Why would you even look there? That's like the last place you look for several reasons. Shocker. Oh. Oh, did somebody actually break it and then hide it? I think that's what happened. Somebody actually broke it and hid it so they wouldn't get in trouble. Yeah, I saw that coming as soon as she found it. That's what a kid would do, you know. They break something, they don't want to get in trouble, they just hide it, and they say, I don't know where it went. So, you know. That makes more sense than somebody just stealing the clock. Uh, it's a good question. I don't, I know, f I'm pretty sure Fukuda wouldn't do that because he's a little bit more mature than... Usually not childlike, but... It wouldn't be Furu yet, because he's the one that was initially wondering where it went. So my guess would be either Muta or... Reiji? Nita? One of those two. A milk puzzle. I think they're called milk puzzles. Milky puzzle, something like that. That's why it's a milk puzzle. You get no image to help you as a hint. Oh, wow. That would be... I don't think I could do that that fast. Yeah, that's what makes it a lot harder. I mean, you can at least do the edge pieces first, which helps, but... Doesn't help a lot. <laughs> this would be much easier for the for B for Kenji's group. <laughs> Just stick it in. Man, I do not. I do not have the patience to do that. I will lose my mind after about half an hour. So they each get their own individual puzzle to do, huh? Your patience. Because it would test my patience and I would fail. <laughs> yeah, poor broken clock. It has to be either Muta or Nita.
Well, now I'm just more suspicious of you now, Nita. It wouldn't help, no. It's a good point. Well, Moot has lied before, as we established. Well, that's not a bad point, but I don't think she did it. Maybe she didn't look at the clock. Yeah, she didn't do it. Is, is, is that odd? I don't think that's that odd. But it explains why there was so much emphasis on that scene with his look. He could be. I'm 50-50 on that. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> wow, let's change the subject. That... Are you gonna be... being scummy now, aren't you? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to say that composed. You are so scummy. I hope you fail. And we know Kenji has a family, so... He did nothing wrong in the alarm incident. <sighs> and of course, it's starting to get to him. Oh, you. Cut the little hair. Well, not my hair. Your hair. <laughs> well said. We don't have a detective here is a problem. <laughs> I wouldn't I could imagine him being a class rep. He doesn't even wear glasses. <laughs> Earth? The A pod? Well, yeah, I guess technically. Yeah, you know, you're in space. I thought he meant at first that Earth was just a part of space like any other planet, but no, this is what he meant. <laughs> it 
Good point. Wow. So we don't need that stupid clock anyway. <laughs> of course not. Don't be silly. You panic. Okay. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> There's a lot on his mind, yes. Well, that was no, that was not going to fit there. Yeah, but that's not the point. <laughs> yes, he could have. But the point is that it doesn't matter. Yeah, that would be nice, but I don't see that being the case. It's dark, I can't see their face. Wow. Well, yeah, why? Why would you do that? Uh, seriously, why would you do that? Like, I, I just, I, I was almost sure somebody accidentally broke it and then just wanted nobody to know that they did. I don't see the logic behind that. That is weird. Well then. Some high quality astronaut suits he got there, boys. Okay, that was the fifteenth episode of. Space Brothers. And this episode. What happened with this episode? Well, we had a bit of an alarm incident with our group B, with Kenji. Somebody's alarm was going off. I don't know what that was. Like, uh, surely that nobody is allowed to have, like, a phone or anything in there, right? I would assume so. So if that's the case, I don't know what that could have been. Unless it was just Jackson messing with him. But I don't know. It's hard to say because we also had an incident in group A. But that wasn't Jax's fault, so... I don't know. I don't know. You know what would be really interesting, like just, to just click to my head? Is if in every group, Jax, uh, they, they had like a, a, a kind of a spy, you know, a plant. Somebody to purposely try to create a little bit of discord between the group. 
and, uh, you know, try to get, bring out the worst of people and the best of people, basically. That would be interesting. That is kind of a thought I had. I don't have much to back up that theory, but it just occurred to me that it would be funny if they each had, like, somebody to try to mess with things, like somebody messes with the clock, somebody has an alarm go off to annoy people. You know, that, that would be that would be pretty pretty clever if they did that, but I don't think they did, but... Yeah, the, the point is that the thing with Group A was not Jaxa tampering, it was just Fukuda doing that for some reason. So B probably isn't Jaxa either, so... I don't know what I don't know what the deal is with that then. But, you know, the biggest problem with Group B is not the alarm. It's what's his face? I don't remember his name. But the one that's very competitive with Kenji. He clearly wants to be the big shot, the leader, the most important person. He wants that. And every time Kenji does anything even remotely leader like, he just gets so butthurt and triggered and just can't stand it. And then Kenji just sitting there like, okay. <laughs> How do I deal with, deal with this overgrown child over here to make so he stops throwing a temper tantrum? Is <laughs> basically what it amounts to. So yeah, the guy just sits there playing mind games with himself, trying to get the upper hand over Kenji, you know, to try to be the one true leader of the group. And it's just the guys aren't really annoying me. Just trying to get Kenji where it hurts, you know, his concerns for his family and spending time with them, and it's all pretty scummy from him. Sucks. But yeah, like I said, the big problem with A right now is the clock thing, that somebody broke it and hit it. It was heavily, I mean, the assumption would obviously be that it was actually broken, right? And somebody just didn't want to get in trouble for it, get blamed for it, lose points for it, because it is like a democratic vote, who, which two gets to be, you know, chosen, so you don't want to be on people's bad side. So I don't know why Fukuda broke the clock. I don't, I didn't even consider the possibility of him doing it. So I'm just kind of at a loss now. Like, what would he gain from a broken clock? Like, <laughs> is it because he's old and doesn't like being reminded of the passage of time where he gets older and older? That's probably not it. Was he hoping somebody else would get in trouble for it? I don't think he would do that either. Uh, was he just angry and venting and it was the most breakable thing to attack? <laughs> I don't know. Did he not want them to rely on the clock? I, 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 can, I can throw out random theories, but none of them seem right, so... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to see next episode, because I don't think I'm going to guess it, whatever the reasoning there is. But... The, the activity they got to do this episode was the, the milk puzzle. I think that's what they're called. I might have to just Google that, but... Not right now, because some of my buttons are set as odd keys from a recording software, and... It'll mess it up if I try to type, but but yeah, basically I have a limited amount of time to do this milk puzzle, and we'll see who who succeeds and who doesn't. I don't see Muta being able to finish in time. I highly doubt that. Sarika probably can. Fukuda probably could, but I don't know if anyone else would be able to. They have no clock to go by, but we had a whole talk about how the clock's not all that important anyway. So maybe it's for the best that the clock is broken, in Muta's opinion. And speaking of Muta, they actually know that Muta lied about the whole, you know, his reasoning for figuring out the time. The, the, the people know about that. And they seem to approve of the lie, which is good. You know, for a second I thought maybe they were, it was going to show, like, him coming clean with the group about how, about how he lied to them. But no, it was just them replaying the footage and and then coming up with an opinion about whether that, that was a good thing or a bad thing for Muta to do. And they decided it was a good thing. But yeah, there are three groups, right? We get like none of C, really, so... I don't know what the deal with that is. I know it's because we don't have an important character there, but... You can still show them once in a while, just to make sure they're still alive. But yeah, that's all I had to say on the episode. I definitely want to know what exactly Fukuda was... Well, why he did that. And we should find that out next episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.